Okay, so this is kind of funny. I looked out on my porch and it looked like my chair here, Coleman umbrella camping chair, looked like it had a bunch of uh, string on it, like a Halloween fake spider web stuff going on. And they're stringing out, going all the way over to the holly bushes here. Now, what the heck is going on with this chair? I just took them out of storage and put them out to dry out, and here's this Baltimore Oriole female and she is pulling apart all the seams and trying to use this stuff to make her nest and here's a juvenile male and they are all over this chair just ripping all the seams apart he's even using his feet this guy's really into it and uh, I thought you know what I need to video this look at him he's really really serious about making his nest. Now, it would be really great if I could find the spot where they are building their nest because they they weave a nest that hangs. It's not like a robin's nest or something. And uh, they do a great job of hiding it. But I would think with these white threads and everything that they would uh, be kind of conspicuous. I ought to be able to find it. This guy's now he's got some strung out through the holly and they're still trying to work that out and they actually get pieces of it and fly off it's pretty amazing I don't think this stuff is very safe for them to be honest you look at these threads these things could wrap around their feet wrap around their necks it's not like it's going to degrade this is a synthetic fiber look at her finds a little spot in the seam there and just starts working it out now, by the way, if you've uh, really got an interest in wild birds, I highly recommend you check out a YouTube channel called Leslie the Bird Nerd. She knows everything about North American wild birds, and it'd be great to, to have you go and check in on that. Their behavior, now look at that, I tried to take off with it and got uh, snapped back there. Did not work. And uh, But they are tenacious. Look at that. You'd think they'd give up and go find something else. Now this makes me want to hang a bag of yarn somewhere the way people do and put the bright orange and red colors in it and then th we'll be able to see what they're doing. She dragged that right to the bottom. She's got a wound up here on the legs of the chair. And then this is a huge amount of work. But the more I thought about this, I thought, you know, maybe I should just cut all these threads off of here. They really shouldn't be uh, dragging two and three foot long synthetic fibers around. And so here it is. I trimmed everything off. I just left a couple there. But look, I cleaned it all up. You think they'll come back? And I wadded it up, by the way. I put it in that cup holder right in the arm here. I thought, well, if they need it that bad, they'll come and collect the wad and fly away with it. But you know what? You can't predict birds. They came back right away for sure, but uh, they were not interested in the wadded up ball of fiber that they had already pulled off. Here's the male, of course. He's getting some grape jelly from the Oriole feeder. This is the mature male. He doesn't really care too much about taking part in nest construction. He just pops in to see what's going on, get some food, and then he flies off again. Now we got the juvenile male back, hard at work. Remember I cut everything off and he went right back after those seams and started ripping things out. And uh, I don't know how much experience this guy has in nest building, but uh, he's quite the gymnast too. I missed a couple of great video sequences where he was dangling upside down by his feet and working this from all angles. And uh, quite a bit stronger than the other one that comes through here. And I think they're working together on the same nest. That's anybody's guess, but look at these tiny fibers. Hope I can find it. If I can find this nest uh, later on, I'll be sure to make a video about it. But again, as I said, you know, the trees are leafing out. Very unlikely I'm going to be able to find that, which is amazing, considering that Baltimore Orioles are this brilliant orange color. 
especially the males. When they're mature, and here's the female again, right back at it. Look how carefully she's uh, dismantling this chair's hem. And she acts like she's done that before. Just keeps working at it, so what a waste of time for me to trim off all the loose edges thinking that uh, they'll just leave it alone. Now they eat fruit. I also saw them uh, working on blossoms in the trees, so they go after nectar of all kinds. Of course, we're offering them artificial nectar in the form of grape jelly. That's their favorite. You put grape jelly in a cup and set it out uh, with some kind of cover over it and you're going to get Orioles coming out, assuming they're in your area already. But uh, I think this chair has seen the last of its useful days here. She is really serious about that. There she is back in the holly bush and you can see tiny fibers going through the leaves there and uh, she's very careful about going through there and collecting it all out the male has come back you know checking up on the work seeing what everybody's doing and of course getting some more grape jelly because that seems to be his job and uh, he's kind of observing junior here who's just all over the place this bird has some serious antics as I said before, he was dangling underneath. He was working it upside down. And uh, instinctively, I guess he's just not going to let this go. Now this morning, the temperatures were only in the 30s. We had a heavy frost. And uh, the temperature shot right up into the high 60s right now. Of course, in the sun, it's even warmer. And uh, it's a great day for the honeybees. All the wild birds, as you can hear in the background, we have every kind of North American wild bird here. And of course, you hear the chickens walking around doing their thing. And uh, I don't know, I realize this is kind of a time waster. I wanted to uh, share with you about this weird behavior. Of course, it might not be that weird. Maybe this happens everywhere. But uh, the male, of course, he's back to check up on Junior again. Can't tell if he approves or not. Oop. He just produced some whitewash there. Maybe that's disapproval. I don't know. Maybe he's not impressed with all the time that Junior's spending trying to get fibers off that just don't seem to want to be released. Now, I made this video around uh, noon today, and uh, by the time I'm putting this together here, it is 3.30 in the afternoon, and guess what the Orioles are still doing? They're still out there trying to tear apart this chair. Look at him upside down. This guy gets credit for effort. I have to find that nest. If you've got any tricks on how to find a Baltimore Oriole nest somewhere, um, I'd appreciate seeing that down in the comments section. I'd like to track them down. I have some other camera equipment that we can zoom in nice and close on them and see what's going on. I want to see what kind of engineers they are. So anyway, I hope you don't feel like you wasted your time. This was kind of entertaining for me. Just thought I'd share it. And uh, thanks for watching as always. We have honeybee updates coming up and of course this Friday. We'll have frequently asked questions about honeybees. I'm going to answer some more of those questions and give you an update on the bees that we installed uh, last Wednesday. Thank goodness, they're finally getting a warm day too. There's a lot going on in the bee yard. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your wild birds.